Well, we're starting our 3,000 mile trip. We're on the San Francisco freeway. Let me give you a look at that. Hey, Carol. So I'm testing out my new microphone. I'm wearing it right here. See if that uh, improves the sound quality on recording. And uh, just want to document this, this first leg of our really long trip. We're only, uh, oh, about a half hour or so out of the hotel. We stopped and had breakfast in a great little croissant shop uh, in, uh, what part of San Francisco is that? Burlingame. Burlingame. Game, Burlingame, Burlingame. However it's pronounced. Uh, but now we're on the road, and this is Carol's new car. We take a good look at it. It's really nice. It's got lots of gadgets on it that it's going to take us the whole trip to figure out how to use. And uh, right now we're, we're not tired. We're feeling good. Starting the big adventure. Check in on us later, and I'm sure we'll be a lot more road weary. We're in the hard lane. But we have our cooler in the back of cold drinks. And the car is packed and we're on our way, leaving San Francisco, heading south towards Los Angeles, but we're not going to go all the way to Los Angeles. We're going to turn east uh, in order to go over the mountains and hopefully make it to Las Vegas tonight in about nine hours. I think those are grapes. Hi, John, or whoever's watching. This is Dad. I'm currently in Las Vegas, Nevada at uh, the main arcade in a casino called Circus Circus. I'll give you a little sweep around. You see the room is a giant room that's filled with all kinds of arcade games. Right now, let's go over here and see what Carol is playing. Oh. All uh, right. So Carol is playing Frogger. Oh. <laughs> With a little bit of difficulty. Look, I mean, I got two frogs in already. Hey, she got two frogs in. That's pretty good. Carol has found a Space Invaders game. You can see she's playing it. This is the classic arcade version. Gonna get you a little close to the action here, over her shoulder, so you can see the gameplay. Here we go. Uh oh. How do I go right and left? How do I go right and left? There, that's how I do it. That's how you gotta use the ball. Right? Uh oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh. Right. Today on our cross country trip, we're at Hoover Dam, one of the biggest engineering uh, feats of the history of the world. Uh, Hoover Dam is one of the biggest dams in the world. It was made in the 1930s and it was one continuous pour. The cement trucks never stopped coming 24 hours a day the entire time this was being built. Behind me is Lake Mead, the lake that was caused by the creation of the dam. And if I turn the camera around, you can see we're standing on the bridge on top of the dam. The dam is big enough, there's actually a road going over it. And on the other side, you can see some other highway bridges. Now we're at the other side of the road from the dam, uh, where you can see more of the dam itself. So I'll give you a look down. This gives you an idea of how tall the dam is and just how much concrete there's in it, which is an inconceivably large amount of concrete. Down here you can see the river below the dam.
Oh, in the Rockies. Oh, yeah. Right through a mountain. Oh, Lost no, radio it's reception. The end of the tunnel. Woo! We made it. And the radio came back. And here's the mountain, please. Just went through. Just get you backwards? Uh uh. And that one, we just came out of. Dudes, this highway is cracked. That up there is the westbound lane. They had to stack us because we're going through this itty bitty canyon. It's called Glenwood Canyon. You can see it's really curvy and really tight. Every time we pass a truck, I feel like I have to lean toward the driver's side so I don't get hit by that truck that we are going by. There's this beautiful creek next to us that you can't see very well. It seems to be called Grizzly Creek. And, uh, yeah, it's just windy, windy, windy. Every 50 feet, I feel like we're turning some more. But look at the scenery, it's amazing. So this is the, this is the Colorado Rockies. And, uh, this is Glenwood Canyon. All right, so this is June 2013, and John and I are here. We're trying out the new stereo microphone that I've got right here, seeing how well it improves the audio quality of uh, recording. You can make a sound. Hey, you're supposed to make a sound. You didn't make a sound. I love you. Ah. So, John, say something without the microphone, and then say it, say it while I put the microphone near. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So, when we play this back, you'll be able to see how much better that makes the sound. Whee! Well, hello. Standing up there like the Statue of Liberty. Okay, hold on. 